I can't tell you how to run your practice. All doctors have different comfort levels with different disease states. As a gastroenterologist, you're probably quite familiar with irritable bowel syndrome, and maybe you can confidently diagnose it without any testing. But you have to think about the patient. The way I look at it in my practice is, it helps me, first of all, to strategize what caused the patient's symptoms, to give the patient that comfort level. So I generally do it early in the management or workup of the patient. For one, if it's a young patient and they really don't need a colonoscopy for reasons of colon cancer screening, and they don't have any red flags that would warrant a colonoscopy, if I have a positive test, I may forego the colonoscopy. Others may be or find colonoscopy more important in their practice, and it may be a geography issue or, a, or, a, or even a genetic issue, depending upon different populations that are in different parts of the country. So you have to tailor this into your practice. But what I can say is absolutely with great certainty that we overutilize diagnostics in IBS. Think about your practice and how many times you've ordered an ovin parasites and it's been positive. Hundreds or thousands of stool tests, all negative, so many time after time after time, and patients incurring those expenses. So you can get an answer much more rapidly with this test.